Okay, today we're going to be looking at a really simple drill that we use all the time to help develop the power in your punches. Now we're essentially going to be focusing on the jab primarily today, so your lead, your lead punch. One of the first things, so choice of bag, we use a relatively light bag, these weigh about 25 kilos and we also like the shaped bags just because they're more useful to get underneath when you're throwing off the cuts, but a straight bag's fine, okay? The main thing is you don't want a bag that's too heavy because you're gonna work the bag on the swing. So we actively want the bag to swing. Then we wanna work on that timing of stepping in, stepping back, stepping in, stepping back initially, just to go from what we term our base into our lead and back. Now, ideally, you'd always keep a hand's distance away as you step up and step back, and then hit from there, okay? But we're looking at from a beginner's perspective. So the first thing is just getting that base to lead. The point at which you wanna hit the bag, there. There, it's just as it starts its swing back. And that's another reason why you want a relatively light bag, because you're gonna have more force coming back at you. The same as you would if somebody was stepping towards you as you had to throw a punch. We're not gonna break down the mechanics of the jab, but what we're gonna look at is the timing of the shot. So, from here I'm gonna to have to take that step in, I'm gonna to have to take that step in. Now I want that step to be sudden and the punch to be on the end of that step so that all my weight is transferring in to the punch. What happens a lot is people will step and then punch. And that minimizes their weight transference so that they're not gonna be hitting with good power. I'll show you what I mean. So if I step, then punch, there's no power in the shot. If I wait, and then hit the bag, there's much more weight transferring into the bag, and I get a sharper punch. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look at Ella working on the bag, and we're gonna see how she works on timing the shot. Now I'm not expecting every shot to be perfect because that's not generally how it works out anyway in boxing. Um, but it serves as a great little drill to incorporate into your bag work, even if you're fairly experienced. Just one of those things, give it a shot, see how it works for you.